Hi everyone. I'm officially in Ho Chi Minh City. I arrived this morning or this afternoon, but left this morning from Lune. It is the 10th of March. I'm currently walking to the War Museum here in the city. Um, I've heard it's quite graphic. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be silent and emotional and really depressing. Um, but it's you're going to go to these countries and travel. You should at least respect it enough to learn the history, respect it, um, give it the attention that it needs, especially because the United States had to do with it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to get educated, show my respect, and yeah, so far, all I know is that Ho Chi Minh's a big city, and freaking hot. <laughs> like, really, really really hot so yeah I will keep you posted um, I go to the tunnels tomorrow morning a lot of things in store um, I'm trying to kind of fit it all in two days but also enjoy myself I'm not trying to cram it too much the biggest things I want to do is the museum the tunnels tomorrow uh, I have another thing maybe in mind some shopping ship some more stuff home and yeah so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the museum and how it was and yeah I'll see you around hi everyone um, I'm just getting back from the war museum it is six almost 6 30 at night um, so I spent about two and a half hours there definitely worth going I think it's uh, very important to go but it's definitely graphic moments where I felt like I was I mean I feel like I, like I was holding back <laughs> tears I basically was there until closing if I had more time I actually probably would have sat down outside some of the galleries just to take a breather because it's, it's it's intense stuff uh, I'm glad I went um, because I even reached out to my professor back at, from uh, Manual. Got me thinking a lot about that class. He was, you know, um, my advisor for international studies. And it got me thinking a lot about my other course I took with another professor uh, called Crimes Against Humanity. Um, yeah, it's definitely heavy shit, but I mean, lives were lost, lives are still continued to be affected by the Vietnam War, and if you're going to visit a country, or just in general really, uh, just read up on it, go to the museum, watch a documentary, they deserve that, and I think you yourself deserves that as well, just to humble yourself, I've, <laughs> I've never actually really, I don't think, been in a position where it was really nice to just, you don't talk. I mean, I'm by myself and you're just reading everything and- Turn left. Most people, turn left. Most people don't assume I'm American. They assume I'm from somewhere else. And it was like a really like interesting experience. So like walk around and be like, <laughs> like, thank God people might not assume that I'm from the States. You just feel, it's not a proud moment not a happy one um, you feel ashamed so with that being said I'm glad I went and yeah actually I'm really happy I went tomorrow I go to in the morning see the tunnels and wow yeah I'm probably gonna watch a documentary later tonight or maybe on my flight to Australia just because I have to get up at I get picked up at 7 20 a.m. tomorrow so need good night's sleep we go to the night market but yeah the war museum a must see uh has me thinking a lot about continuing photojournalism which i do for faces of mary jane but uh also really getting me thinking about journalism in general and writing and the importance of documenting things and speaking on them yeah <laughs> i mean it, it even got into all the journalists and photographers that died um, being there and 
yeah, so it was worth it. I'm not gonna ramble on. I don't really have much to say. It's just got to go or just watch, like I said, watch a documentary, read a book. With that being said, I'm gonna cut off by saying now it's officially hitting me that tomorrow's my last day in Southeast Asia. <laughs> And I go to Australia, which I'm super excited. I'm staying with family. I am in dire need of um, consistency and just being around family, not having to pack and unpack and do like the whole thing that I said before. But now I'm like, oh wow, this is it. And I, I know, of course, Australia has its own culture, its own obviously history, it's its own, it's its own country, it's its own continent. But, <laughs> but. I know it is more of a Western culture, and it's, that's something I'm more used to. Of course, things are different, but I mean, Southeast Asia, it's, it, it is different. For some, it can be a large culture shock, but I love it. I love experiencing new things, um, socializing, socializing, meeting new people, experiencing new cultures, and food, and cuisine, and lifestyle, all of it. And I'm not saying Australia doesn't have those things, but I do have a feeling that it is gonna feel a little bit more homey to me. Not home, but it is gonna feel a little bit more comfortable as far as Western culture. So I'm I'm excited. I'm gonna be with family, I'm gonna see a friend from college who I haven't seen in forever. So exciting things, all great things crossing the street while I record, but I'm not, it's hitting me. It's, it's hitting me. <laughs> and oh, there's still so much I want to do and see in Southeast Asia, especially Vietnam. So I'll be back. I'll definitely be talking to you guys tomorrow. My last full day in Vietnam and then Australia. I can't believe, I literally can't believe like I did it. Okay, bye everyone.